Nikki. Hello, I'm Gary. Welcome, Welcome to our home. home. Our house is actually based on Victorian theme, specifically because I like Victorian theme. At first, we were thinking to blend in some Scandinavian theme because he likes Scandinavian, but as we go through the project, I think he liked uh, Victorian as well. So we actually came up with a lot of beatings and most of our carpentry are based on Victorian designs. So we actually met about 10 plus IDs, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so quite a lot of homework. Lah. But eventually we chose Phoebus from Next Style IDs because he's the only one that has been very patient with us and he also doesn't really uh, override me in a way that when I tell him uh, how I want my house to be like, he will actually uh, try his very best to make it come true. He wouldn't say like give alternative solutions or what, he would just try his very best to fulfill it. So this is something we really appreciate about him. Whenever I ask him stuff, he will always reply no matter like 1am, 2am, <laughs> he will just get it done. So that's something we appreciate a lot. Responsive lah. Yeah, very responsive. very responsive. We quite appreciate him throughout this uh, renovation. Lah. He made it very uh, fast free for yeah. us. I would say it's the kitchen because it's an open concept kitchen so it looks more spacious and also the dining area whereby there's a chandelier and makes the whole place uh, look more uh, cozy and uh, nicer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for me, of course it's the walk-in wardrobe. La. <laughs> I technically designed the whole place. <laughs> so I, did, I, I think I love my walk-in wardrobe a lot because of the mirror, the, the crazy mirror that's, that's so big then. Uh, and also the, the whole design and the layout of it is exactly what I wanted. That what advice we will give is to meet as many ideas as possible because we met about 10 plus ID. Then find the one that is really uh, that you feel comfortable with, that you can just openly say well, how you want your dream house to look like. Then uh, budgeting is very important. <laughs> one person must be the one who keep the budgets in place because sometimes we get too excited over our dream house. <laughs> then maybe look for things that you can replace carpentry with. Maybe not everything because sometimes carpentry can be a bit costly. So maybe you can find a uh, nice loose furniture to actually replace carpentry that will look good as well. Maybe go around like look at other people's house, get the advice from them. Then oh yeah, we did house visits. Yeah, house visits. Yeah. So and we also had friends who who invited us for housewarming. So we kind of get a lot of inspiration from mm. Pinterest as well. I did a lot of Pinterest research. So Pinterest and other people house visit, then we actually get more inspiration from them. We also did some Taobao also. Yeah, actually quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, quite we did quite a lot of Taobao la, to save costs. So yeah. <laughs>